Hey everybody, it's uh, Carrie here. I thought I would hop on and do a quick little tutorial to run through how to import your planner into GoodNotes from our Facebook groups. And then also I'd mentioned that I could um, show how to swap out the covers, so I figured I would do that as well at the same time. So um, a lot of people in, obviously this is the unofficial page and um, we now have an official page, which is really exciting. Um, but since the files are already in the unofficial page, I figured I would start there. So when you go to the Facebook group, um, at the very top of the page, so you got, you know, posts and things, the very top, you should have a files option. If you go in there, um, you can see tons and tons of documents that um, all of our lovely members have update or uploaded um, into the group. So um, the way that I upload mine, all of my files will start with um, KHK at the beginning. So you've got the goal getters guide that I put together for our workshop this Sunday. Um, but also let's see. So here's the January planner that, uh, or at least my take on the planner that I put together. Um, so when you come in here and you find whichever document it is that you want to download, um, you can just, if you hit the dots, you just have some options down here, but, um, let's see, I'm going to do the plus version. Oops. Okay. You're going to go ahead and view the file. And it'll bring it up so that you can see exactly what it is that you are looking to download. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, come to the three dots here on the bottom right hand corner. And um, the option I go with is open in browser so that it will open it in my Safari browser. Um, and then from here, you then have the option to save it to your files. Um, so let me scoot this down. Uh, this square with the arrow pointing upwards, the square with the arrow, not the circle, um, go ahead and tap that. Obviously, you'll have various options, but if you scroll down enough, um, everybody should have this save to files option on, on your iPad. So um, one thing that I would point out is you do have the option to choose where you're going to save it. Now, I save everything on my iCloud drive, um, just because that's my preference. But if you don't have iCloud set up on my iPad, maybe where yours defaults to save, which is totally fine too. You just want to make a note of where it's going to save the document so that you know where to go find it. So um, I will go ahead and like I said, I save mine all in my iCloud drive, then it's on all my Apple devices and I drop it in my downloads folder. And then up here at the top, I'm just gonna hit save. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and save it where I told it to save it. So, you know, the next thing you're going to want to do is to navigate to that folder. So I'm gonna go to my files um, and if you back out far enough, you'll get, you should get the same amount of options that you saw when you chose where to save it. So again, I'm going to go to my iCloud drive and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I have a lot in my downloads folder. Um, but here is the document that I did just download. You can say today at 1.29 PM. Um, so I'm going to tap on this document and it's going to kind of open it up which isn't really the final step. So you then need to um, go back to the square with the upwards pointing arrow, tap there, and then you're basically going to send it to GoodNotes, um, which should be an option here. There we go. Open in GoodNotes. Again, the key here when you download your files is you've got to download them using Safari, save them somewhere, and then upload them into GoodNotes. Um, a lot of the time I've seen people have problems where 
um, they struggle getting it to work correctly um, or finding the files and what have you. So again, save it and then go ahead and upload into GoodNotes. So I'm gonna hit open in GoodNotes. And here's another uh, fun little tip, I'll actually. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Um, but when you're going through this process and um, you wanna save to GoodNotes, a nice thing to do is to navigate in your GoodNotes app to where you want that document to save. It's, it's kinda like a, a setting it up for success versus if you just upload it in, sometimes um, it's easy to forget that you can choose where to put it when you're uploading it. Otherwise, I've uploaded documents and then I have not been able to find them. Um, because they save into random places because I didn't catch it. So a lot of the time I like to make sure that I go in and actually I have like a folder for my NoBS planners um, and I navigate to where I want it in GoodNotes and then going back to my file, when I choose that upload, whoops, of course now it's going to be finicky. There we go. When I choose that upload option, open in GoodNotes, it took me to that folder that I had navigated to. Wherever you are in, Good, in your GoodNotes app when you go to upload your document is where it will default to save it. Um, this is also your option to change the name. So if you tap on that name, you see how I did that? Um, you know, you can X that out and say, okay, this is my January, oops, space. 2022 planner. So you can rename it when you're uploading it or you can go back and, and rename it after the fact if you want to. So then you're just gonna hit import as a new option. Or I'm sorry, import as a new document. If you had a second option here because you were inside a different document in GoodNotes, um, it would give you an option to upload into your current document. Um, so you might see two options here. You'd want to always choose the import as a new document. Otherwise, it's going to kind of insert it into whatever you might have been in prior to starting the, uh, the import. So import as a new document. And then it, it loads up really quickly and it's going to go ahead and open the planner. One other way to do this is you can start in GoodNotes and then actually from wherever you want the planner to upload to, you can go ahead and do the new option, which is always the top left corner. You can do new and then import. And then again, find wherever it was that you saved it. So mine defaulted to this downloads folder because obviously that's the last place I imported something from. And I can just tap this and it'll import it that way too. So it's kind of two ways you can go about importing. Um, but here you go and here's the planner, you know, nice and shiny and new, nothing added to it. Um, and that'll be a great place to start. So that gets the planner from the files in the Facebook group into your GoodNotes app. Again, this is GoodNotes specific, um, note shelf, notability. They all kind of operate the same way by giving you, you know, the kind of the two options of import directly into that file, or perhaps um, you start inside the app and then import your PDF document into whatever app it is that you're using. Um, so, I will touch really quickly on how to swap out the covers. As, as I mentioned, I added some extra covers to the January planner. So if you don't like the purple fireworks kind of um, cover, there's the peach with the pink sparkly polka dots. And then there's also the kind of the squares. Um, and you can make any of these your starting document. So again, for anybody that's super new, um, two good notes, remember this pencil up here with the line through it, that's your toggle, kind of your toggle button between navigating, right? All my menu options disappeared um, versus editing. I'll, and you know, you tap it again, you get your menu options at the top there. So um, when I'm in navigation mode, this first, um, the label on the covers um, will always take you to the calendar page. Um, now there are pages before that, that's just a quick link to the calendar. Um, because for me personally, that's normally where I wanna jump to first when I'm going into the planner, if I'm going in from the first page. Um, so 
again, as you can see, or let me go back, up here you've got these four squares at the top. Those are, you know, that's a kind of a universal um, visual for thumbnails. So you tap that and you get all the thumbnails and it shows you all the pages of the planner. Um, so you can see at the beginning, you've got these three planner covers. Now you've got a couple, couple things you can do here. If you want to delete the planner covers that you're not going to use, that's really easy to do. You're not going to break anything. You just, you know, choose this little downward carrot thing, um, and then just move that page to the trash and it'll be gone. So that's one way you could just delete the two that you don't want and just keep the one that you do. Um, alternatively, if you didn't want to actually delete the covers, um, you can just click and drag them. So whichever cover is the, the one in this number one spot, that's going to be the cover that's going to display in your, um, your notebooks kind of visual area, um, outside of editing. So, um, if I wanted to have this one in the front, I just tap and hold it with my finger and, Ooh, don't do that. Oh gosh. Okay. If it does that, um, an alternative is to drag the front one the other way and you just swap them around. So, um, if I want this one, Oh, see, it wants to add that as a window. Um, again, you could just move them around or delete them. But um, either way, whatever, like I said, whatever's in that number one, that's going to be what you see outside of this. So I've moved the, if you remember, this was the one that I had at the beginning. If I close this up and I get out of this, now all of a sudden in my, my files, I have this cute peach cover. So again, go ahead and maybe I want to move this purple one back. I'm going to drag this, um, close it out go out of the planner and it's back to the purple one. So super easy. Um, you can do that with any of these three. Again, you can also delete it. So I can just take this one and say, I'm not going to use that one, put it in the trash and it's gone. Again, all of these, all three of these that are in here initially, sorry, dogs are going nuts. Okay. Just had to yell at the dogs guys. Um, so again, all of these, all three of those pages, I deleted one of them, so it's gone, but um, all three of these, that first tab, that first label will always take you to the same place. So deleting one doesn't, it's not going to mess with any of the links or anything. Um, those all stay nice and, and linked up and ready to go. So that's how you swap out your covers so that you can choose which one you would prefer. I'll probably keep putting maybe a, at least two or three options in for covers because I know that whatever I like the best isn't necessarily going to be what the group likes. Um, so I'll try and remember to do that in the future with with the future versions that I put out. Um, then there was just one other thing that I was going to touch on because I've seen a lot of um, kind of questions in the, in the group about how people don't like their handwriting and can they just type on the documents. Um, the obvious, you know, obviously the answer is definitely yes. It's the beauty of going digital is that you can type all these kinds of things. Um, but also, uh, there's a super fun option, um, that came out with one of the recent Apple releases. So, you know, if you're doing your plan, for instance, and, um, you know, you're filling things out, like, let's say I'm going to fill out my meals for the day, or I'm going to put my breakfast in, I toggle to my, my editing option. Um, you know, you can obviously write, you know, I can say I'm going to have eggs for breakfast. Um, but you know, if you don't want to have your handwriting, but you want the ease of writing things really quickly and not having to type things out and pull the keyboard up and you lose visibility, um, the scribble option is really, really nice. And I would say I use this the most of everything. So with the scribble option, again, you've got to be using your, um, Apple pencil or your stylus, um, to do this, but you tap on this text box. And if I just tapped with my finger, okay, it's going to bring up the keyboard, right? And you've got your keyboard down here and go ahead and type my, my eggs in. So I've got my eggs tap off and, and there's my eggs. I can lasso and I can then, 
you know, move these around wherever it is that I want that to be. An alternative, um, which again, this is my preferred option for entering text. I go with that text box, but instead of tapping with my finger, no, I'm not flipping you guys off. Um, if, instead of tapping with your finger, tap with your pencil or your stylus. So tap wherever you want it to type and it brings up a box. And you see down here in the corner, you have your little Apple pencil. Um, you can now write on, on the screen, but it's gonna convert it to text. So I'm gonna write my eggs um, and I just write on the screen eggs for breakfast. Now, obviously, when I was writing that, it was not, I mean, this is me trying to be write a little bit neater, um, but you can write pretty dang sloppy and your iPad's gonna recognize your handwriting and turn it into text, which to me, this looks fantastic, which is why this is really my preferred method. Um, and you can, again, using your finger is easiest I found. You can then move that kind of text box wherever you want. If you wanted to, you know, say you wanted it to fit into a, a smaller space, you can do that and then drag these blue dots. Um, you can drag the blue dots and say, I want this to be centered. So you go ahead and, and change the alignment and now I've got a nice centered box. Um, with my, you know, I hand wrote that in, it converted it to text and boom, now it looks really nice and neat. Um, so that's really another great tip um, for inputting information into your planner. So, you know, hopefully for any of you that didn't know you could do things this way, um, that'll will help you with your transition over to digital and stuff. I think it's, a, it's pretty intuitive, so. Um, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to hop on and share with you guys today. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, please reach out to me, um, on, on Facebook in the group. I'm happy to always answer if I, if I know the answer. Um, if not, uh, you know, you can reach out to me, add a comment on the, on the YouTube, um, and what have you, and I can answer there as well. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I hope this was helpful and happy planning ladies. Bye.